Tonight in Dixon, a high school student is in police custody after a shootout with an officer. School officials told KCRE3's Kathy Park the situation could have been a lot worse if it weren't for the quick actions of other students. Instead of the school bell grabbing students' attention, this morning at Dixon High School, the sound of gunfire had them in lockdown. Yeah, that we could be talking about. Um, seriously injured students or staff, and even dead students or staff. At 9 a.m., Dixon police received reports of a possible gunman near the school. We had the benefit of um, students who became aware of this situation this morning, who did the right thing and reported it um, to school administration. The situation quickly escalated as an officer arrived to Memorial Hall Park, located next to Dixon High. Within minutes of his, of his response was fired upon. There were numerous shots fired into his patrol vehicle. It was so early in the morning it caught us all off guard. Police say the responding officer fired back. Then the teen tried to run. He was arrested shortly after and identified as a student at Dixon High. As a parent, you know, it worried me. I did call my son's school to make sure everything was okay. Jennifer Beckley's children attend the elementary school nearby. From her house, you can see the park. Stopping by the house to see paramedics and a fire truck pulling up, not knowing what was going on at that moment, you know, was a little unnerving. Even hours after the shooting, there's heavy police presence and crime tape still surrounds the park. We're told that police will be out here until they collect more evidence. In Dixon, Kathy Park, KCRA 3 News. Now, police say that teen was injured, but not seriously, because he's a minor. Investigators are not releasing his identity.